Joining us now is David Newman, a uh, farmer from Missouri, and he is the current uh, president of the uh, National Pork Board. So, uh, David, thanks for being here. And, Absolutely, uh, thank you. Uh, the pork industry has been one that has uh, definitely had some challenges, but there's still some some good news, and let's let's tackle a couple of those. And with the pork board, of course, pork board is the checkoff side. That's and, right. And you and those farmer leaders that sit on that have really uh, taken to task where you you want to see the future of the checkoff. Yeah, that's. It's, it's, it's an excellent point in being producer-led, right? So, so part of our pork checkoff program, you know, the thing that we say all the time is consumer-focused, producer-led. That, that is an enormous piece of our operations and what we do. So over pork checkoff, uh, it is research, promotion, and education. I mean, that is, our, that is our charge since 1986 when the Pork Act and Order was passed. So really, you know, what we're doing today is, is to think back on this and say, go all the way back to 1985 and 86 when all of this began, the, the checkoff. Uh, that was pork 1.0. And now we're at 4.0, starting here uh, late 2019, uh, early 2020. And, and to put it simply, we don't farm the same way we farmed in 1986. We have this unbelievable rapid pace of technology uh, that's moving in right now. Uh, that's, that's really shaped our business, right? Not just our business, but the whole world for the last 20 years. So, so as we move forward and we look at this, our producers need to have a checkoff that does uh, reflect on itself, that says, here's where we've been, here's where we're going. We want to be working with our producers that, that, that getting ahead of the curve for our future producers, uh, not just domestically, but internationally. So here comes for, Pork Checkoff 4.0. Uh, it is consumer focused, producer led, and it really boils down to two buckets. Bucket number one is building trust. That is the things like our we care message. This, you know, this pin right here on my coat. How are we being good stewards of the land, the environment, animal welfare, and engaging our community? The other piece is adding value. So, um, domestic marketing and international marketing, marketing to the new generation, Generation Z, millennials, uh, multicultural, um, and how we're going to shape that so that we can keep protein on the plate as a protein of choice. Talk about that working with other proteins. Uh, one of the issues that keeps getting brought up is those that uh, aren't. Uh, meat-based proteins trying to get a part of that market per share. Sure. So uh, right now, if you are in the meat industry at all, you have heard a, a tremendous amount about alternative proteins. So whether they are cell-based or, or plant-based proteins, and certainly that's something that we're very aware of. Uh, National Port Board has conducted a lot of research in that area as well. Uh, this, is, this is what I would say is, is as, a, as a nutrient source for humans, uh, meat holds a very uh, a tremendous position there. So we talk about the essential vitamins, nutrients, the role that not only protein but fat plays, vitamins and minerals, you know, those type of things. The other piece is, is we do know that our, our next generation of consumers are concerned about ingredients, uh, number of ingredients, those type of things. And uh, we say this quite often, but, but our, our ingredient only has one piece and that is pork so uh, you know we don't we don't have to worry about those things between sodium and other things we're concerned about uh, we're a one ingredient product David Newman is the president of the National Pork Board let's take a break we're back with more in just a moment